Hey everyone, it's Nick Pavlov and I am one of the consultants here at Sintida. In this video we will pick things up where we left off in the previous video. Currently we have two files uh, sitting in the, in the files section in our data lake and we would like to turn these files into tables in the Delta Parquet format and store these files as tables. Let's take a look at the CSV file first. If you right click on a CSV file, you can see an option load to tables. However, this feature is not available for Excel file because Excel files need to be handled differently. We are going to be looking at the Excel, how to handle the Excel file in the next video. For this video, let's focus on the CSV file. So I'm going to go back to the CSV file and right click to it and then go to load to tables and then I'm going to create a new table. This is going to ask me what will be the table's name. So I can say Superstore CSV, Superstore Table. And I am going to click, click Load. And now this, um, actually I have a mistake. If I click to Details, I can see what, what are the details, right? So right now the, the lake house is not liking the fact that I have spaces in between my column names. What I mean is I have row space ID, order space date, to be able to transform a CSV file into a table in Lakehouse, you can have those. Your column names either have to be spelled in camel case or you have to put an underscore between spaces instead of spaces. It says no space characters are allowed. That being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my file. I'm going to open my CSV file and make sure that I don't have spaces. To save your time, I'm just going to do that and then return to the upload stage. So here I have it. I have cleaned up my CSV file and I named it Superstore CSV Cleaned. And I'm going to upload this into my files section. Again, it's the same file, just with the different column names that don't have spaces. Okay, after I have that, what I'm going to do is I will right click to this file, the cleaned version of it, and then we'll try to convert this one into, into the table. Superstore table, and I will click load. And this should create a table out of this file. There we go. Now your data is sitting in a table in the Delta Parquet file. And if I click to the table section right here, I will see my table ready right here. Sometimes it will give you an error like this, unidentified error. In this case, what I found works is just to click on the ellipsis sign right here and then do refresh. And now I can see that my, uh, my table is actually working. When I clicked on my, on my Superstore table, I am able to preview the data which is available in my table. You can see that I named my column names and this is all of my data that is available. In the preview section, I can see the schema of my table and all the data types. Now, if you look at the top right corner right here, you can see the selected view is Lake House currently, but you can also view your data using the SQL endpoint view. And if you click on it, a new page will be loaded. And this page looks very similar to SSMS. Let me drag this a little bit to my right so I can have a little bit of more space. And here I have information about my tables. I can have, uh, you know, different folders for views, for functions, for stored procedures, etc. Now what I'm going to do is I will create a new SQL query. I'll click this button. This will give me an option to query my data. As a test, let's go ahead with a simple select statement. Let's do select and let me select a state and then let's do a sum of my sales column. You can see that it has a pretty good IntelliSense, right? It can detect what you are trying to type in and it helps you to write your code sum of sales as I am going to call this total sales from the table called Superstore Superstore table right here now I'm going to group this by 
group by state and I am going to order by order by total sales descending and if I click run query this is going to give me my result I actually going to fix this a little bit here and clean up I will do round sum of sales by two and I will rerun my query this is a much cleaner look now oops I forgot to run order by if I if I rerun my query I can see that you know the usual suspects right California New York and Texas right here if I right click on this SQL query I can rename it let's rename it total sales by state save it and if I scroll down here it's going to save the history of all of my queries um, let's copy this code and actually let's create another query let's change this a little bit this time I'm going to do it not a sum but an average as average sales from Superstore it's going to be the same thing and let's run this query giving me an error of course I cannot order it by total sales I'm going to fix this here average sales make sure that my spelling is correct and then rerun my code and now I have this look right I have uh, Wyoming the first state based on average sales and then let's right click on this query and then rename this as average sales by state and you can see that I have the history of my queries neatly under the my queries folder so if I click on any of these queries right I will see that query and its results now right now we are in the query uh, look right in the query view we also can have the model view and if I click on it I will have the modeling page and those of you who use Power BI this is very familiar look for you in this page you can model your data and this is very similar to how you would do this in Power BI or Excel currently I don't have any additional tables but I will show that later to you so if I had more tables in here this will be exactly the same modeling experience um, as in the Power BI right I will I will drag and I will build relationships between two tables now if I go back to the query view I have a couple options here right I have if I go back to my total sales query the first query um, I can download this uh, query uh, the results of this query as an Excel file and then I could also do visualize results keep in mind this does not always work sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't and now I will click continue and this is opening cloud version of uh, a Power BI canvas so I am going to put my results of my query here and it actually you know is not showing me uh, my results I think this happens because uh, Microsoft Fabric is currently under uh, the preview trial right and I'm expecting this is something that they that Microsoft is working on so I'm expecting this feature to work and maybe it will look a little bit differently when the product becomes generally available and if I click to the data this will take me back to the table look this is my table here so in this video we'll learn how to turn a CSV file into a table in the Delta Parquet format and now our table is located under the tables under the tables folder right here in the next video we will continue and we will see uh, what we can do with Excel files right how to turn Excel files into tables until then have a good day and I'll talk to you later